Welcome to the aneuploidy and trisomy analysis with GeneMarker software webinar. Basic functions in GeneMarker are covered in the introductory webinar. Please review this webinar before beginning specialized applications such as trisomy analysis. During the webinar, we will analyze a test set of QF-PCR trisomy data using GeneMarker's trisomy analysis application with emphasis on settings used by technicians. GeneMarker aids technicians and researchers analyzing QF-PCR products to detect aneuploidy with highly accurate size calling and user-friendly interface. The default settings follow the QF-PCR for Diagnosis of Aneuploidy Best Practice Guidelines by the Association for Clinical Cytogenetics. The software facilitates accurate, rapid analysis of data generated by major QF-PCR kits, such as those produced by Anufast, Divisor, Finzymes, GenProbe, and Custom Chemistries. GeneMarker is compatible with all major CE genetic analyzers, AB from Life Technologies, Megabase from GE Healthcare, and CEQ from Beckman Coulter. We will start with a quick review of importing data. Data may be imported using the File drop-down menu or the Open Data link at the center of the screen. Default settings are for FSA files. Please refer to the introductory GeneMarker webinar for details on selecting die channels for Beckman or Megabase files. As we saw in the introductory GeneMarker webinar, running a project is guided by the Run Wizard. Activate the Run Wizard at the Project drop-down menu. Select the Trisomy template and enter the panel, size standard, and standard color that are appropriate for your chemistry from the drop-down menus. Then apply the template by clicking on Next, Next, and OK. This template will apply analysis settings commonly used by many QF-PCR users. For details on each parameter and information on customizing or creating new templates, please refer to the introductory GeneMarker webinar. All settings in the template may be customized and saved with the disk icon, avoiding repetitive selection of run parameters from one project to another. The panel is a file containing all of the loci and alleles that may result from the QF-PCR. It is used by the program to make allele calls and allows the program to accurately calculate the peak ratios needed to detect trisomy. Panels for many of the major suppliers of trisomy kits are available with GeneMarker in the panel editor. Select File Import Predefined Panels and open the Aneuploidy Panels folder. Then select the appropriate folder for your chemistry. Alternatively, custom panels are easily constructed using the panel editor. Details are provided in the introductory GeneMarker webinar or contact us at techsupport at softgenetics.com. Use the Tools Panel Editor link to confirm panel alignment. If run conditions have resulted in differences between the positive controls or allelic ladder and the panel, please refer to the introductory webinar for information on aligning and calibrating panels. If the panel required adjustment, use the Project Rerun option in the main analysis screen to apply the newly saved panel. Typically, a project with 96 files will process in about 15 seconds. The main analysis screen displays the analyzed data. The allele report table on the right has allele calls with labels flagged with green if they met all analysis run parameters, yellow if the peak was within the check range for one or more parameters, and red if the peak failed one or more of the parameters. The synthetic gel image and electropherogram are at the center of the main analysis screen. All channels are shown in this view. The table displayed below the electropherogram contains information on each peak and automatically registers a comment and quality reason for any raw data analysis actions. To display one die at a time, use the Show Color icon to toggle to the desired die. Multiple files may be displayed by selecting them from the file name tree at the left. Size and quality is indicated by color flagging in the file name tree at the left. Green equals high lane quality, yellow requires verification, and red indicates that sizing did not occur. 
after confirming allele calls in the main analysis window, link directly to trisomy analysis from the application's drop-down menu. There is no need to tr transfer data. The trisomy analysis application is directly linked in GeneMarker. The trisomy analysis settings box includes a tab for analysis settings and statistics plot. The statistics plot tab contains additional research analysis options. The analysis settings include classic and aneuploidy, best used for developmental research applications, and BPG, or best practice guidelines. The default settings for the BPG option are commonly used settings for trisomy analysis. We will use these settings to analyze the practice trisomy data set for this webinar. The peak height and quantification options should be set per your lab's standard operating procedure. Values for trisomy and inconclusive range are in the concordance with the best practice guidelines, but these may be customized per the lab SOP by typing in the desired range. Select shorter length over longer length from the trisomy ratio and deselect apply linear correction. Select inconclusive range. Any peaks with ranges within the inconclusive range will be noted with a question mark in the final report table, indicating that further testing may be required. By checking the Save Parameters when saving report option, a separate file with these analysis parameters will be saved when the file report is saved, providing additional verification and audit trail of the analysis. The Trisomy Analysis screen contains a sample list icons similar to those in the main analysis screen, a linked report table, and linked ratio plots. To customize the report table, select the report sheet icon to activate the report settings selection. There are two convenient ways to review results. Scroll down in the trisomy column in the report table. Double click on cells with three alleles to display a zoomed view of that marker in the electropharogram. In this example, we can see a triallelic pattern at locus D21S11 in sample 051. By double-clicking on the cell above, we see an example of 1 to 2 trisomy ratio at locus D21S1437. Alternatively, we can use the linked peak ratio plots in the lower left to review the results. Blue triangles, as with file 4 in this example, are not in the trisomy range. When we click on a triangle, the selected data point turns yellow. By clicking on one of the red triangles, we see that sample 1 has a 1 to 1 to 1 peak pattern at D21S11. In another example, sample 20 has a 1 to 2 trisomy ratio. After reviewing the trisomy analysis results, select the printer icon to customize the final report. Options include printing all or selected samples and markers. Ratio plot is selected if a second page with the ratio plots for the entire project is desired. Report table content and electropharogram size range are options to allow customization of the final report. Print directly from this screen with the printer icon or print and save from the print preview display. The final trisomy report contains a header and an authorization box at the top, followed by a report table and electropharograms. To automatically enter the institution name and operator name or ID, please activate user management from the main screen, help drop-down menu, select user management, and follow the prompts. Details on user management are provided in the introductory GeneMarker webinar. The other fields in the header are supplied by the analysis parameters. The report table contains the marker name, number of alleles, allele names and peak area, or height if height was selected in the trisomy settings box, peak ratio, and a check column. If the peak ratios are within the trisomy range, the line will be highlighted as seen in this example for sample 51 with peak ratios in the trisomy range for loci D21S11, D21S1437, and IFNAR. If the peak is within the inconclusive range, a question mark will be displayed in the check column of the report table as we see in this example for sample 066. 
today we used a demonstration data set to review the features of trisomy analysis with GeneMarker. For additional details and immediate assistance, GeneMarker contains a linked user manual. Chapter 7, Special Applications, has a complete section for trisomy detection. Thank you for your interest in trisomy analysis using GeneMarker software. The program provides highly accurate size calling and allele calling with a user-friendly linked navigation. It is compatible with all major capillary electrophoresis systems, facilitating accurate rapid analysis of data generated by major QF PCR kits, such as those supplied by Anyafast, Divisor, Finzymes, and GenProbe. It can also be used with custom chemistries. Trisomy analysis is directly activated from the main analysis screen, avoiding any errors from data transfer. Technicians and researchers may use the default settings that follow the best practice guidelines or easily customize the analysis parameters for commercial or custom chemistries and individual lab standard operating procedures. The final report contains a customized header, report table, electrophorograms, and an authorization box. To learn more or to download a free 30-day trial copy of GeneMarker, please visit www.softgenetics.com or send us an email at info at softgenetics.com. Thank you.